Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here, I'll show you how to take a range that has many values for the same product or person, and consolidate that into one range without any duplicate values, while at the same time summing the values for the same products or people from the first range. What I'm talking about is using the consolidate command in Excel. What I have here is a sample sales report. I don't know, it could be from a bunch of customers. That's what we have here, so customers on the left and amounts on the right. Some of the customers have made multiple purchases throughout the month of September. So, we have John Doe for $34 right here, John Doe for $22, and John Doe for $14. So, a big list of this is going to get kind of annoying, and it'll be hard to see exactly how much John Doe spent total for the month. It's the same for Jim O'Leary. So, what we want to do is to be able to select this entire range and take out all the repeats. So add up all of John Doe's expenses for the month and just have one entry over here, John Doe, and then how much he spent. So, that's the goal of this tutorial, and I'm going to show you how to do that with the consolidate command. Before I do that, though, make sure you have copied the headings to a new location, so you can't bring the headings with you. So, new headings. Select where you want the consolidated data to go, you have to do that before you consolidate. Then, go to the Data tab and select Consolidate. If your Excel window is a little bit smaller than mine, this may be a small bar, but it's in the Data Tools window. So, go ahead and click Consolidate, and then a window like this is going to open up. What we have here is the function that we would like to perform when we consolidate, and most times it's the sum function. You want to add everything together. In this case, we want to add everything together, we want to add John Doe's expenses for the month together to create one number. The next thing is the actual reference, so where the data is that we would like to consolidate. So, I'm going to go ahead and select that right now. When you've selected that, go ahead and click this button again. The next thing is to hit add. The reason it says all references here is that you can actually use this feature to consolidate ranges of data from multiple worksheets at once as well as multiple different workbooks at once. But today, we're just going to use the very simple feature to add these things together. So now, we've got the function we'd like to perform, sum, the values that are exactly the same from the same person, and then we have the reference. Now, the most important thing here is to use labels. In this little box right here, you can select top row or left column, and the labels are what it's going to use to actually figure out where the multiple values are. So, where John Doe is throughout the list. So, are the names for the customers in the top row or are the customer names in the left column? That's how you should look at it. All of our customer names are right here in the left column, so use labels in the left column. If you are consolidating data from multiple different workbooks, sometimes you may want to create links to the source data so that when you update the source data, it's going to update the consolidated workbooks as well. But since all of our data is on the same worksheet, it does not matter. So, once you've done all that, go ahead and click OK. You can see that only the unique customers show up over here. So, we don't have any repeats of John Doe, no repeats of Jim O'Leary, and you can see his total amount for the month is 99.34 plus 65, and for John Doe, we have $70, so 34 plus 22 plus 14. After the consolidate command has been run, we have only the unique list of customers that have shopped for this month, September. So, that is a very great tool to use in Excel in order to make more sense of your data and figure out exactly how much an individual customer, in this case, spent each month. That's about it for this tutorial. Don't forget the consolidate command is on the data tab right here in the data tools box.